Hey guys, this is Dave the Software Dev again, and today I'm going to show you another Bootstrap video. Uh, this time we're going to be talking about the grid layout in Bootstrap, which is one of the more uh, basic items um, that's that's really going to help you in your web development. You know, I spent a lot of time uh, building sort of my own layouts with uh, with different widths for sidebars and content and things like that. And Bootstrap's grid uh, setup really makes it really easy. Uh, the way that it works is they have uh, the, a grid that they build for you that's 12 spaces long and you can determine how many of those 12 spaces you want to use for a given uh, section of your page. Like you can have a panel that's 6 spaces long and that'll have half of the grid or you can have a panel that's 12 spaces long and you'll use the full grid. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how this works. Uh, all that we need for this is the Bootstrap CSS file. Uh, I've got some styling here. Normally I would put that in my own uh, CSS, but just to keep it simple, I put it in the header. And all I've got are um, some red, green, and blue with the background colors. And then uh, I've got a default height for divs because I'm going to be using uh, some blank divs for this example. So just to get started, in order to utilize their grid uh, layout, you have to place a container. So I'm going to create a div with a class of container. Inside of that container, you place rows. So I'm going to start with a div class is row. And this row now has 12 grid spaces available to me. So for this one, I'm going to use all 12. And I'm going to set to span 12, and I want that to have a background color of red. So this is what we have here with our uh, span 12 with a background color of red. You can see that it covers the uh, entire width of the uh, grid and all we had to do was just give it a span 12 class. So let's add some more rows to that. And I'm going to put in um, uh, basically 12 uh, multicolored uh, spacings here so you can see what those look like. So here we have our 12 spans. Uh, I've set them each up with a, uh, a width of 1 by using the span 1 class. So each one of these will fill one grid spacing, and I've got uh, a little bit of alternating colors going on. So let's save this file and take a look at it. You can see here how the grid works. They're spaced out evenly. Each one of these covers up uh, exactly one grid spacing, and it's, it's multiple colors. So let's add a, a final row. We're going to use one that, uh, that uses half the row and then two others that use a quarter of the row. So here I've got my final row created. I've got one that uses a span 6 of half the grid and then two that are span 3s. Let's save that. I'm going to refresh. And you can see here that there's my span 6 and then my span 3. So you can see how easy it is to divide up your grid uh, in that manner. Now one thing I usually like to do is have a little bit of space between my rows. So in my site I will add a uh, a, t a style where I put a margin on the bottom of one or two EMs. Let's start with one. Just kind of get a little bit of spacing between my rows there. Let's take a look at another example now, which is a two panel uh, sidebar. Just going to open that file. So as you can see here, I've got uh, three rows. Uh, the top one is a header. It's a span 12, and then in the second row we've got a span 4 and a span 8. So the 4 would be like a sidebar, and 8 would be your content, and then span 12 would be your footer. Let's take a look at that example. So as you, you can see here how it's starting to look very, very easy to uh, to create your, uh, your site layouts. I mean, if you... Obviously, I've got just some colors here, but if you had a lot of content on this, you could really make that look uh, pretty solid. The last example I'm going to show you is a fluid layout. And fluid layouts, instead of using 940 pixel grids, they use 100% of, uh, of the screen width. And it's very easy to, to use them. Uh, the only change is that you have to use a fluid container, or container-fluid, and then you have to use a row-fluid. Uh, after that, all of your spans are pretty much exactly the same. So this is an example of a fluid layout. If I resize this window, you can see how the fluid layout is resizing along with it. 
So I hope this helped you guys. Uh, if you like this, please uh, like and share this video.